Hello, Mitel New Point Voicemail Administrators. Scott here with TransWest. For today's lesson, I thought we would discuss how to re-record your company main greetings within the New Point Voicemail. New Point uses a platform that includes mailboxes and call director boxes. Here's an easy way to understand the difference between a mailbox and a call director box. A mailbox is usually assigned to a staff member's phone. It will play the staff member's outgoing greeting and take the caller's message. A call director box, or call box for short, will play the company main greetings, but it won't take a message. It was designed to route the customer depending upon the options they've selected. A call box may be programmed to give the caller's options or digits to press, such as the digits 0 through 9, star, and pound keys, to route the callers to extensions, ring groups that contain multiple extensions, or to another menu ID within the same call box that may have additional script recordings. When these options are programmed, you'll need to re-record your company greetings within the appropriate call box and the appropriate menu ID. So let's log into the mass server. We'll access the new point blade, or excuse me, the new point voicemail blade, and take a look at what a call box really looks like when programmed. All right, Mitel administrators. Here we are, we've logged in to the Mitel MyCollab server, formerly known as the mass server and we'll break this down just a little bit for you. But we need to, since we're going to today just look at mailboxes and call director boxes, we're going to log into the New Point web console. This will take us actually into the voicemail application of the Collab server here. So, we're logged into the New Point web console. And right at the top, let's take a little peek at this mailbox form up here. Now, we can show 10 results. I think we can show up to 50 at one time. And we'll do just a quick sh uh, show all. And this is a practice that you as administrator may wish to do from time to time to make sure somebody has not um, locked their mailbox with too many invalid passcode attempts. So if you happen to see somebody um, with a little padlock right in this area, that will tell you that that particular mailbox has had too many invalid passcode attempts. But let's find mailbox 7284. So let's just do a quick search for uh, 7284. And we can double click or select the checkbox. Now, there's the owner's name of the mailbox. There is the default passcode. It, this mailbox happens to be assigned to phone extension 7284. And what this attendant extension is all about, this user could record their outgoing greeting as such. This is Scott, please leave me a message. Or you may press the digit zero now to be routed to wherever. Receptionist, a different uh, extension, maybe a ring group. But wherever that option zero is programmed right in this field here, when the caller presses the zero when they're listening to that person's outgoing greeting, they will be removed from this mailbox and routed to the location that's programmed in this area here. So this form right here tells me that this user is utilizing the unified messaging application. So well, they will receive a, an email with a wave attachment when a message is left in their inbox at that address right here. But let's come up and look at the advanced tab since we're in this area right here. We'll just have a brief side trip and look at the things that we can see in a mailbox. Um, within the uh, advanced tab, we have a class of service form here. And we have features. These are all the applications that the mailbox has uh, the rights or functions that are allowed by your administrator. This features tab 
features is, is related to this feature class of service right over here. But um, you may want to take a look at the stats. This area here will tell you how many messages are in the current mailbox, how many unsuccessful login attempts in the last time that that mailbox had been accessed. So let's cancel this and continue on with our lesson on how to edit a call director box. Now, I have licensed my mailbox as a call director box, so I will have some call flow within here. Oh, excuse me, my mistake. To look at the um, mailbox or call director portion of the mailbox, we want to scroll all the way down to the bottom of our form. I was a little bit ahead of myself there. But we're looking for call director. We see call flow right here. So this is the form we're going to come into to see how a particular call box has been programmed. Now don't let this word mailbox fool you. We are within the call director box call flow tab and since my personal mailbox 7284 is also licensed as a call director box, we're going to see some information pop up here just a moment and we'll look at the options that I've given myself for my call director box. Okay, so my call director box, 7284, not to be confused with my mailbox, 7284, my greeting is recorded in what's called menu ID 001. And the options I programmed, um, I've told the callers to leave me a voicemail, press 1. To be routed to our speech attendant, press 2. To be transferred to our customer service, press 3. And then I have a hidden option here that if the callers hit my mailbox, they can be transferred to my cell phone. I did not uh, mention that in my outgoing greeting. It's just kind of a hidden option. Now, pound, if they press the pound key, they will also be taken to my mailbox, 7284. And this star key, that will take the callers to the message center. We'll talk about that in just a moment. So this is what a, a real basic call box looks like. So it's important that you know, to record your company greetings, you need to know the call box number, as well as the menu ID number that the greeting is recorded in. Now, if your company has quite an extensive menu tree, you will see multiple menu IDs within this area here. All right, administrators, what we're going to do is I have my desk phone here beside me and I'm going to log in audibly on speaker so you can follow along with me. The keystrokes that you'll need to get into call director box 7284 with the assigned passcode. So I'm going to start out by just pressing the voicemail key on my phone. And when I do, she's going to ask me for my passcode to get into my mailbox. But we don't want to get into my mailbox. We want to get into the associated call director box. So when she asks me for my passcode, I'm going to press the star key on the telephone. As you can see here as we're looking at the phone, at the display, that the star key will take us to the message center where we will be prompted to enter a mailbox number. At that point, I'm going to dial call director box 7284, followed by the star key again. So let's go through those steps. I'm going to start out by just pressing my voicemail key, followed by the star. Hello. Please enter your passcode. Star key. Welcome to the message center. Please enter a mailbox number or wait. Call box 7284. Star key. Passcode for the call box. You have no messages in your mailbox. Star one last time. You have no messages remaining. Menu 001. To listen to the current recording, press L. To make a new recording, press R. When you are done, press pound or hang up. I'm just going to press the L key, the 5 key on my keypad, just so you can hear my outgoing greeting recorded in my call box. service 
press pound to skip this message. Thank you for choosing TransWeb. To listen to the current recording, press L. To make a new recording, press R. When you are done, press pound or hang up. So, I hope that this tutorial was beneficial today. And of course, you may always contact us here at TransWest for further help. But thank you for joining today and enjoy using your Mitel phone system.